So this is a 78 RPM record that is um, it's a home recording in orange vinyl. You might notice a slight orange tinge to it. And I'm just looking at through a microscope. Um, I hope some of you find this interesting. It's uh, somewhat interesting to look at. You can see the waveforms on the vinyl, cut into the vinyl here. You can see that it's not uh, as strong of signal there. Um, I was trying to just provide examples of where the recording levels were too high or too low on the, the vinyl. Um, I could flip it over to the other side. Um, <clears throat> Uh, there's some pretty heavy recording levels here. This record is barely even playable. Um, it's very, it's an amateur recording. Um, there's piano music on here. Well, I'm not sure what else to show. Here's the label. It's got two holes in the in the record. There's the label, kind of torn away. And uh, this is on the uh, record disc. Uh, it's a record disc disc. And my estimation, I'm pretty good guess that this is recorded in 1955. I have a, a collection of six of these uh, same kinds of records, and they have dates on them, um, New Year's Eve, 1955. So uh, these were probably recorded in 54 through 56 period, and I'm pretty pretty sure of that. That's not, there's no mystery. Um, you know, I don't know if any professional musicians were on the recording. I don't think so. It's just a kind of a typical family type piano playing on it. It's not that fancy a piano playing, although I only was able to listen to a little bit. Some of the songs are nice on these, these tracks, so I don't recognize any of these tracks, though. But uh, Anyway, I hope this is not too boring, but I figure there's nothing that, you know, these recordings are one of a kind, so um, I don't know what to say about this. What could I say about this? Uh, you know, I'm just doing this live, just messing around here. Uh, what else could I say? Um, look how it's quiet here. That's interesting how it's quiet there. Um, that's why it's hardly playable. Uh, this part here, the it's peeled off and it's exposed. It's got an aluminum base. So they put lacquer on an aluminum, flexible aluminum base and then they just um, burn the record. Um, now, what else? Um, I guess that's, oh, it's got two holes in it, and uh, two holes in the record disc. Um, they can also burn them from the inside to the out, or the outside to the end, so you can play them inside out. There's a, like a label that says that um, to look at, um, but I thought I would just show you what uh, 78 RPM home recorded vinyl looks like. I would just um, maybe this is a study in um, over, you know, distorted records. You know, what can go wrong with a record? Look how badly, you know, that that those 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 tracks are just those grooves are just really uh, look at that right there. What a mess, you know.